Hi guys, here you are watching guys, the 5 kV uh, setup of solar panel of installation, which is going to power a factory. Here is a 10 amp. The grid is connected into two different arrays of 15-15 solar panels, each of 250 watt. So one array is connected in series, so there will be 15 array, 15 uh, solar panels in one single array. Here you can see those two wires are. Coming from the solar panels, an and I've connected the panel this to LED a solar array the box. There are two regulators for two different arrays, and then right two wires are going inside a solar hybrid to inverter. To this one is a smart inverter. It is directly connected to the grid. Here you can see the AC box the beneath. So right now I'm going to connect the charge controller. First, I'm going to connect the load that is the led after that i'll be connecting the batteries once all connected will are working directly then i will connect the solar panel here uh, you can see the terminals of the leds are connected in the positive and the negative poles respectively now i'm going to connect the batteries then only the led is going to light up Right now it's off. So now I'm going to connect the batteries. As you can see I have connected the batteries terminal to the respective poles that is plus and the minus. You can see that the LED has started getting power from the battery and it's lighting up. While connecting the batteries, make sure you first connect the negative pole. So in case of over voltage or short circuit, your equipments will be safe. Okay, now is the time to connect the PV as a solar panel. While after connecting the panel, since it is a daytime, it will show a charging on LED in green color. See, now I have connected the PV. So it is showing a charging on connection. That means the solar panel is now directly charging the battery. Since the battery voltage is 12 volt and the solar output is around 20 volt. I showed you on the voltmeter and 4 amps. So it's charging the battery uh, eventually. See the best thing about solar power is that it produces pure DC. So it is very good for the battery life and uh, make sure while connecting uh, the microcontroller when you purchase it from the internet it has this heat sink below because this thing is like con under continuous function so it gets heats up and you can see the rating like 12 volt 10 amps microcontroller base so why we call it microcontroller base is the only reason because whenever there is a voltage a minimum voltage on the PV cells the logic in the microcontroller is that that at that time the PV will charge the battery at one set it gets dark the output in the PV is like somewhere not zero ideally but very below to a inner voltage like a 9 volt you say so it at that time the power will come out from the battery and will light up the LED since it is charging right now and daytime see the LED is off now I'm gonna close the box and this will work now all the connections are done we can see that the solar panel is charging the battery now we can simply close the box We'll close the box from sideways. You can see there's a hole for this 4 mm LN key. And the setup will eventually work in the evening. You can check it out uh, the evening photographs on my blog. There's a link below, you can click it. Once it is all set up, it uh, looks like this. It's a perfect design and setup. Make sure uh, while installing one of the 
this thing the street light solar street light that the panel should be in between east and west facing the south to get the minimum efficiency and uh, make sure about the degree of latitude the elevation of the panel like I'm standing in Bangalore somewhere in Mysore so in the map you see a latitude about 12.9 degrees so the elevation of the panel is 12.9 degrees to get the maximum solar output. Thank you for watching the video.